Hi, and today I will um, read to you Psalm number 3. So listen and pray with me and read with me. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. I'm going to give you a tip, my brothers and sisters in Christ, everybody who is seeking for God in their lives. Um, you can pray over yourself. You can go on your knees and pray the Psalms over your life, over people's lives. Read them out loud and um, you will feel more peaceful. You will feel God talking to you. Okay, it helped me a lot. I, when I was praying the Psalms, I was keep reading them out loud to God on my knees in the beginning of, of my walk. And I felt the spiritual more than I had before in my life. And um, I felt like a dark force coming close to me. And the dark force would like to try to attack me. But I felt like a shield around me. So the dark force couldn't get to me. Which was weird because I felt like scared. It was like a shadow behind me. But it couldn't get me somehow. It had claws. And without it was without a face. It was like a kind of a demon. It couldn't get to me because I was, I guess I was praying the word of God over my life. That's why it couldn't touch me and I was praying in this time and it's scary to know those things. When God opens your eyes in certain moments, you're like, whoa, like you didn't know. So I highly recommend you to pray scriptures over your life, okay? And take Jesus or God's promises and serious. When he promises you something in the scriptures, he means it. He is not a lie, okay? So, I want to pray right now for everybody who's listening to me. God, I, I lift up everybody who's listening to me right now. Jesus, I pray, come into their lives. Thank you so much for your presence in their lives, in our lives, Jesus. I pray right now that you baptize every single person in your Holy Spirit and in fire because you have promised us, Jesus. This is one of your promises. And I pray, Jesus, that you make us holy and righteous before your second coming. Make us pure and holy and righteous. Give us a new heart and a new mind and a new spirit, Jesus. Give us a holy and righteous spirit, we pray, for everybody who is listening right now. Thank you, Jesus, so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.